All right, welcome back to another Principal Reacts video. If you're new to the channel, I'm Brandon. I'm a high school principal from the state of Georgia. If you haven't seen my Napoleon Dynamite reaction video, uh, please go ahead and check it out or wait to the end of the video and there'll be a link uh, to that video. Anyway, today we're going to be looking at, uh, by request, uh, Billy Madison. It's a great movie. I have never actually seen it from beginning to end until uh, doing this reaction video. Um, so we'll see uh, what I think about it. Uh, we're going to be looking at the scenes from the school uh, in different educational situations. It's pretty funny. Let's get into it. All right. All right, you got it. First grade through 12th grade, all over again. I'll do each grade in two weeks, take the test, re-graduate, prove to you I'm not an idiot, and then I get to take over Madison Hotels. Hmm. This kind of sets up the premise of the movie. So Adam Sandler's character is this guy um just a complete idiot and he or at least he acts like an idiot and so he goes um he makes this deal with his dad who owns a huge chain of hotels um he was going to have him take over the company but then he behaved so badly that he uh took that away from him so he says okay um i'll go through school all over again just to prove to you i can do it um, so they make this deal where if he goes through first grade through 12th grade all over again and passes it without um, his dad basically bribing the school system that um, that he, he will then be able to take over the hotel chain. So obviously in real life, this is not a thing. Uh, this would never happen. That's why it's so funny. Um, having a full blown adult go through first grade. There are situations, of course, where you know you have someone who didn't finish high school. Um, but that's really limited to high school. And honestly, uh, elementary school and middle school is um, really just a way of building up uh, very critical fundamental skills so that you can uh, pass high school and earn your diploma. Um, but each one builds upon the other and no one is more or less important than the other one. But the high school record is, is the one that counts in terms of your educational record. <laughs> Okay. Hey, mister, guess what I have for breakfast? What? Beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's happened, and, and many other similar things have happened. Um, again, I'm a high school principal, so shout out to all my elementary school colleagues. If you work at an elementary school, please let me know in the comments if something like this has happened to you. Um, I suspect the answer is yes. Oh, no, that's okay. I'm kind of tired anyways. I'll just sit here and color or something. Billy, dodgeball time is a special time. Not just for you boys and girls, but for Miss Lippy too. Teacher planning. Stay outside. Yeah, so it's true. Um, teacher planning is a very important time. Now, granted, uh, that particular teacher right before the scene was doing some very interesting dancing in her classroom. Not typically what teachers do during their planning. Um, of course, they, uh, number one, get a break, uh, which is very important. Number two, they do their planning. That If you don't know what that is, um, they have to have time to write lesson plans, prepare their instruction, prepare any assessment they may have, really do all of the planning for their actual lessons and a host of other things they may have to do. So as much as possible, you know, if you're smart as a principal, you, you try not to interrupt that planning time. And so she says there, you know, this is a special time, not just for you, but for me. Um, she's not lying there, but granted, uh, teachers generally don't do the dancing that, that she does in the movie during her planning time. <laughs> okay, let's see what's gonna happen here. Big, big trouble. <laughs> First grade. <laughs> yeah, he's out there just nailing some. For, I, for, I think he's still in first grade at this point. Um, and that's an interesting. Um, that's a. This is an interesting discussion too. I'd be interested to hear if there's anybody out there that teaches PE, um, physical education. Um, dodgeball is one of those things that, you know, you still see it a lot of times, but it's kind of fading away. 
uh, for obvious reasons. I mean, you you have here, he, it's kind of funny, uh, you know, he's a full grown man just wailing on some first graders there on the dodgeball court. But um, we don't see this so much anymore because it has a little bit more potential to, um, you know, not be a positive experience, obviously, if you're the one getting nailed over and over again um, and kind of has some some different unwanted elements, uh, some people think, but you still see it in plenty of places also. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. What's going on? <laughs> no teacher. I think he's in third grade now. Okay, is this the principal? Or a sub? Who's that guy? Principal Anderson. Principal. As you can tell, Miss Vaughn is not feeling well today, so I'll be taking her place. But don't get your hopes up because I plan on teaching. So I hope you plan on learning. Wow. Okay. So the principal of a school uh, typically is not going to cover a class. Um, and it's not even because we're, you know, principal too good to do that. That's not it at all. I mean, if you think about it, especially at a larger school, if let's say a teacher's out and then instead of, you know, getting someone else to cover that class, um, the principal just goes in there and do, does it. I'm not saying I've never done that. Um, it's, it can be a lot of fun uh, to go into the classroom and lead a class for a day. But um, if you think about it, anything else that comes up, um, you're not available, right? So if a parent comes up, if the superintendent comes, if a member of the community comes and needs to talk to you, if a teacher comes on their planning period, right? That happens a lot uh, in addition to having that precious planning time. That's also an opportunity if they have a question or need you to do something for them. Um, my door is usually open. They can come on in and ask whatever they want to. Um, but if you're doing a class, you're going to be unavailable for the rest of the day. The principal is just unavailable. So um, that's the reason uh, you don't typically see that happen. It's not that we wouldn't do that. I have done it um before but typically it's going to be either substitute teacher or if um you're short on those unfortunately you know another teacher on their planning or another staff member of some type rather than the principal of the entire school you know going in and covering a class but i have seen it happen now uh who can tell me where we are in our social studies research? passing notes yes michael uh oh excuse me What's that in your hand? Bring that note up to me. <laughs> now let's see what couldn't wait. Oh, he's going to read it. Class. Uh, all right. So just a piece of advice. If you're a teacher out there, uh, do not do this. <laughs> uh, you know, read the note in front of the class. Um, if you really want to do that, uh, I just wouldn't, but you need to read it beforehand for obvious reasons. Um, a lot of teachers have gotten themselves in trouble by doing this uh, simply because you don't know what's in there. And if it's anything at all sensitive, which it typically is, um, you know, you're going to get a nice phone call from some parents complaining about, you know, yeah, my son or daughter shouldn't have been passing a note in class, but you didn't have to, you know, divulge that information in front of 30 people. So, um, just be careful about that. Um, I have seen a teacher um, do a great example. They were teaching about the um, American Civil, uh, the American Revolutionary War and the Declaration of Independence, and they acted like someone dropped a note, um, but really they planted it and uh, they were going to read it to the class. Uh, and so suddenly they had the entire class's attention and it was a breakup note, but they said this is, you know, from the United States to um, to Great Britain at that time. So that was pretty good. But I wouldn't recommend doing that um, in class. This is the field trip. Hey, I dare you to throw your sandwich at the bus driver. Do it. Do it. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey! Hey, you threw that. Yeah, I forgot uh, Chris Farley's the bus driver here. That He's great. But uh, you see there, um, you know, this is actually a big deal because, you know, bus drivers have an extremely hard job. You know, not only are they driving an incredibly, uh, it's basically a tank, uh, a long 
super heavy uh, metal vehicle for people's kids. Um, it's also very stressful because not all the kids always behave. And as you see there, the third grade student throws a sandwich and hits them. I mean, that could cause an accident. Um, and it, it turns from funny to, you know, very serious if there's an accident or he runs off the road. You see there he <laughs> reacts, hey, you know. Um, but it is pretty serious. Uh, bus drivers do have a very hard job. And shout out to all the school bus drivers out there. Hey, what's with Ernie? I don't know. I'll be right back. Mm. Oh, no. What's up? Nothing. You falling in love with the wall or something? It's like he had a little problem. Yeah. had an accident. Had yeah, so, <laughs> again, shout out to all my elementary colleagues, uh, teachers, principals, other staff members. Yeah, unfortunately, this does happen um, at the high school level. You don't typically see this. Uh, it's it's kind of one of the pitfalls of... Um, being in an elementary school, it does happen, unfortunately. And so you have to deal with it. Typically, you know, you just call the parent and, you know, you kind of take care of them as best you can, but typically not at the high school. Okay, he's in high school now. So now the cell's happy, but there are these other molecules saying, hey, we'd like some energy too and it uses its own pigment molecule, chlorophyll, to carry out the action. This does not make the ribosomes happy. Yeah, so um, let me go back here. They, I guess, really, really want you to know that this is a science class. Typically, you would not see all, look at all this lab equipment, just, you know, it's not gonna be out on the table unless they're just about to do some sort of lab. Um, it's just not going to be displayed. I guess the, the, um, you know, there's a whole world to people who design sets and, uh, put all this stuff out in the way they think it should go. And just, you wouldn't see all this stuff. Look at those tall, tall, um, glass tubes. You know, how easy it, is that to knock over, um, in a high school class, it's going to be glass all over the floor. Um, unless they're just about to use it, um, it's not going to be out like this. And more typically, you might see it on like an outside table against the wall. And this guy's lesson, I, 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 it's not bad. Um, he, he's taking a, a complicated concept there and trying to make like a little story out of it. Um, granted, I'd be moving around a little bit more and, and trying to get more, the students a little bit more engaged, but it's, it's not bad. My name is Max Anderson. And I am the principal at the Polyfector Elementary School. Recently, a young man named Billy Madison was enrolled there. During that time, Mr. Madison was disruptive. The only reason he passed was that he offered me a bribe of $5,000, which mm. I regrettably accepted. I'm sorry, Billy. Yeah, so uh, this would be this gentleman's last day as principal. Um, I've never heard of a, a principals, you know, taking huge bribes like that to pass a student. Um, I'm sure it's happened at some point at, in some location, but I've never heard of it. Uh, this would be this gentleman's last day. I think he go on, he goes on to serve as principal and then I think retracts his statement. Uh, and then he's fine after that. No, this would be this gentleman's last day. The statement I made about Billy Madison was and is completely untrue. No. I know now that I shall never escape my fate as the revolting no, blob. No. Yeah, so this principal apparently used to have a career as a professional wrestler and the kind of the antagonist in the film blackmails him earlier in the film and says, hey, you know, I'll tell everybody about this. Uh, if you, um, you know, say that you took a bribe and, and Billy really cheated, uh, because again, this guy wants control of the hotel chain that Billy Madison is trying to get. So then he comes back. I think the kids go over to his house and he comes back and says, hey, I made it all up again. That uh, the other broadcast would have been his last day. And we do have a professional code of ethics for a reason. Every single state is going to have um, a teacher code of ethics of some sort. In Georgia, that's no exception. Here's the trigonometry and that's for the classes you missed. This is last year's physics notes. It's the best oh. I could do. Thanks a lot, fellas. You're saving my life. Oh. Oh. 
That's terrible. O'Doyle rules. O'Doyle. <laughs> so uh, I've never seen that before. I'd, I'd be curious to know if that's ever happened before. That locker was completely stuffed with uh, manure, it looked like. So I have seen some other interesting things. I've seen um, students, uh, I think it was a, a senior prank, you know, and to all you seniors out there, be careful about your senior pranks. They can stop you from graduating if you just take it too far. Um, so I saw one time some students had like, um, it was a rural community. I was a teacher at the time. They smeared uh, manure all over the walls and um, painted the walls and with some unflattering expressions. And they let some chickens in their school and they, <laughs> they tried to actually roost in the, in the toilet in the student bathroom. They were like making a little roost in there. But it did uh, damage some property, and those students, unfortunately, were not able to walk at the graduation show ceremony. Um, they still got their diploma, but they weren't able to participate at graduation. All right, so he's graduating. He's making a speech. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, what can I say? I graduated. It's over. I did it. I know most of you are saying... Hey, any idiot could do that. Well, it was tough for me. So, so back off! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah so um, just a quick note about that. Um, graduate, you probably see in the media uh, stuff about, you know, people making speeches at graduation and getting in trouble for different things. Um, I have seen cases at, in the past where a high school senior, typically the valedictorian and salutatorian get to make a speech at graduation. That's to, if you have the highest grades in your class or second highest grades in your class, you do have some speaking time at graduation. Now, typically, especially nowadays, um, those students have to submit their speeches to the school. Uh, and that's unfortunate. You might think, well, that's not fair. It shouldn't be that way. But the reason is because there's so many students who will, you know, most people are looking forward to the formality and celebration of graduation. And some people get up there and try to, uh, you know, make a, a political statement or do something that's really disruptive uh, to try and kind of derail it or to talk trash about a particular teacher or a particular person who works at the school or the school board themselves. Um, and granted, you know, um, I, I think you, you can do that in other ways, but to use other people's graduation ceremony for that, especially if it's going to be really disruptive, um, you know, that's why they do the whole, the whole speech, um, speech review, as you see here in Billy Madison, he just, he's, you know, start shouting in the middle of it. Typically you wouldn't have that, obviously. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't seen my reaction video for Napoleon Dynamite, um, go ahead and click, click the link to see that one. And if you have a suggestion for uh, which content you'd like to see me review next, go ahead and put that in the comments below. And I'll see you next time on High School Principal Reacts.